fuck up. <laughs> don't don't fuck up. fuck up. Don't speak to my child like that. You have the right to remain silent. You, yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. Diana, we come coming. You come have with the you. right to an attorney. Diana Tata. I'm representing her on the drug arrest. Sex is a fucking mom. Diana, first off, from now on, you only talk to me. Us. No chance in hell I was getting parole. The way I answered those questions. You did something, Davis. I took the fall for you because you was gonna be somebody. Now your ass could go to prison. So what you're saying is I should have just let you die in there? If you go in this, then my time was for nothing. My life didn't mean shit. Put the fucking gun down! What's up, Power Fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. So the title of episode 8 is Sacrifice. This title on its own is self-explanatory. Definitely after deal or no deal, someone has to make some sacrifices and someone needs to be sacrificed. Ghost and Tasha sacrificed Kanan to do 10 years inside by setting him up. This sacrifice kept the business going for Ghost. Now, one thing I've studied about power is that the moment the drug business operation is under threat, someone will surely be sacrificed to take the fall for everything. Some way, somehow, with the information Tariq know now, especially about the fact that there is a Rico case against them and sacks as a mole, I strongly believe he will have a plan in motion to make this Rico case not work. It will be different if he's not aware what is going on, but I believe the writer is trying to stop the Rico from happening. Because imagine everyone goes to prison, Tariq, the Tahara family, even Davies, Braden and Afi. Then the story is over unless they want to continue and aim at some prison break storyline. So clearly, this Rico case might not be successful. Now the target is Tariq and not Diana. I'm sure Diana won't go to jail. Instead, they will press Diana to flip on Tariq and her family, especially her mother. They will ask her where she got the drugs from and who else has access to the locker. Now, let's look at the evidence. They have a video evidence of Diana putting something in the locker at the rooftop. If I am Diana and I feel the need to even talk, I can say that it was my dad. And since he's dead, she found it and needed a place to hide it. I believe no one will go after the dead Lorenzo. That is if I am Diana. After all, the public still have that perception about Lorenzo as a dealer and a murderer. So safe to say, Diana can just blame this on her father and that will be the end. Now, Diana knows the code of the street when it comes to snitching. So she will not go out like that by snitching on Tariq and not to forget that Tariq was her first and after waiting for long, they just started kicking again. Now, who else is likely to take the fall? Ify. You remember earlier Diana met Ify coming down from the rooftop, so Diana will be forced to snitch on Ify. Now, the picture they got on Ify isn't a proof enough unlike that of Diana, so with her testimony against Ify, they can go after Ify as well. Now, what will pin these accusations on Ify aside the picture? Evidence. Ife needs to be caught red-handed with drugs for it to stick including the picture evidence. Now, those lockers are not just any type of lockers. They use QR code to open them. So Diana will still have one question to answer as to who gave her access to the lockers. Now, who else is having access apart from Tariq? Ife. This is where things are likely to hang on Ife's neck. Now, like I said earlier on, the target is Tariq and the Taharis. So even if they bring Ife in, it doesn't give them the mega Rico they have been planning. They might give Efe a deal to flip on Tariq. Now, this is where I was always saying that Tariq shouldn't have told Efe about killing Ghost and Riri. She was his girlfriend until things went sour, so they are likely to believe Efe if she talks about Riri and Ghost. Blanca will know that she was telling the truth, but they will need a proof. Because Efe can only be privileged to an information like Riri's murder if only it comes from whoever did it. And don't forget, Tariq's DNA sample was found on the crime scene when Riri was killed. It was the same reason Ghost wanted him to turn himself in and Ghost ended up catching a bullet. Now, Efe is unaware they know she tried killing Lauren. This is the time they can get her to flip because so far, she only confessed to Tariq and if they raise this against her, she will think Tariq gave her up. Now, Davis is careful of what enters Sax's ears. I'm sure after Tariq confirming that Sax is a mole, Davis overheard him speaking with Jenny and that is why Davis is telling Diana that she should speak to only him from now on. Now, someone may ask, why wouldn't Davis just fire Sax at once? Now, Davis can only play Sax to the side for now because of the secret thing they both did to get Theo out. Had it not been that, Davis should have just fired Sax and stopped him from even listening to Diana. We're talking about a government official here. There are consequences to getting caught. I'm so sure this will work. 
I'll make the approach myself. Now, let me know what you also think in the comment section. Moving on, Kane might want to save Ify when they are trying to set her up. Now, the difficulty will be if Kane saves Ify, it means he's choosing Ify over Diana. Now, Diana is Papi's little girl and Kane promised his father to put family first and not disappoint him again. So, Kane will have no option than to choose family first which is Diana. Worst case when it comes to Ify is Lauren is still alive. So when Kane find out that she really didn't handle business as he thought all this while, he is going to be very pissed. Now, I feel the evidence against Diana might not stick and I think Davis will have a way to argue that and even help her with coded information. But then the irony is Diana will get a lawyer like Davis but Ify might not. This will be the reason why they can throw an offer at her. Now, Will Efe snitch? Efe, I believe, knows the code better than anybody. She tried killing Lauren for the same reason. So before she snitches, then it's a death decision she's taking. Now, let me know what you also think so far in the comment section. Now, let's see the possibilities of Diana snitching, even though I doubt she will. Has anyone ever thought of how Lorenzo really got to prison? Could it be that Monet snitched on her own husband to go to jail so that she could take control of the business? Could that be the reason why she was so bitter when Diana got her father out? Well, you can't blame me for thinking this way since the same Monet didn't hesitate to frame the same husband to death. Now, hypothetically speaking, let's say the feds have some information on Monet that they feed Diana to 10. Will Diana 10 or she'll keep her cool with that information? Well, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. The feds don't know Monet had a hand in Lorenzo's death yet. So Diana might stay put unless they enter her head with some other information that she never knew about. Now, let's move on to Davis and Teal. Now, this scene here, we see Davis all over his emotion and asking someone here to put his gun down. Put the fucking gun down! Now, the first thing that came to mind is Teal. Only Teal's action can put Davis in such a state. Now, let's assume it was Teal. I don't think he's committing suicide anyways. What I think is Theo is holding Sass at gunpoint, trying to understand how and what his brother did to get him out of jail. He probably thinks whatever they did, Sass is trying to nail his brother to go to jail. And since Theo would not stand to see his brother going to jail, he decided to commit the manslaughter he never committed before ending up in prison for by killing Sass. Theo might make this move because he feels Sass set his brother up with the scheme to his release only to burn him at the end. That may only be the reason why Davis wants his brother to put the gun down but ended up pulling the trigger. The police showed up and arrested Theo for sex murder. Hence, Theo is going back to prison for committing a manslaughter now. Or potentially, Theo shot Sax and killed himself too, knowing that he was going to die anyways. I don't know about you, but for me, I believe the next episode will be hot. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get notified of my next video. Like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.